Hey guys, uh, welcome to another video uh, from me. First of all, first of all, up front, I was so happy and I'm glad that someone, and then I don't know how, uh, confirmed what I was claiming in my theory, because I know some of you guys will think maybe what is what is what is James explaining here? How he comes on that things and uh, that's so absurd. That's cr he must be crazy. But I'm telling you one thing. I haven't studied physics, I haven't studied any science, nothing. It's just my my observation, this my this rare understanding when I look at things that I see in that chaos, a formula or a theory that I can transcend that in other fields. And you're gonna see something right now here is uh so we know now that Graphite conducts the energy, electromagnetic energy, and I told you that when we're writing on it, but you saw all the previous video. I don't want to talk and bring everything back and forth. So another interesting what I've discovered, so I was happy that someone on YouTube uh, uh, proved that graphite and uh, in 1700 a physicist or a scientist, a physicist said, that he, call, he called the graphite stone the writing stone. Very interesting, in a mystical way, you know. So, I'm really, I was really happy and, and what I'm trying to, you know, the, the thing is, everything falls in my hand. I look at things, I read something, and I don't read actually what really stands there, but I see certain words in the text that creates in the text a pattern and I take that pattern out and transcend that or transform that the characteristics of the pattern into other fields like the earth road what I mean by that is to, for ex exa example is the earth rotation rotates on its own axis so you see this movement and what I what what I mean by transcending it, see the the, the, the truth of it, the understanding of it, the, the pattern it, that when we write something with the helix and spiral forms on a piece of paper, we create similar own axis rotation with our pen, right? So that's what I mean by transcending by sensible, rare understanding and sensitivity of awareness to see these things. And my goal is not to think everything in technology, in, 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 in machines or in, 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 you know, in, in airplanes or in, in, you know, in tanks or machine guns. All what I discover is all to the, towards the human being in the, in the metaphysical, philosophical, psychological field, uh, mind, body, soul. This is where I'm talking about. I'm not interested in, in planes, in rockets, in tanks, in pistols, in guns, because what I discover is towards a human, you know, and not the goal into the other things. So today I was just hanging around, run, uh, walking in circles, thinking and thinking and thinking, and I dig deeper into my theory, what I said that, uh, uh, um, that we transcend our, because we are light and energy, that's what Tesla says, and, uh, and Jesus, and many others, famous uh, physicists and scientists, that we are light and energy, and I was explaining that our, that because we are light of energy, through rotation uh, with, the, with the pencil, which is a hexa form and a cone form, when we write on a, a, a surface with the hand, a left right hand rule with a thumb and a, 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 the, the, the thumb uh, it shows the flow of the electricity which points towards the paper and the finger direction of the magnetic field that according to that, that we can tr transcend or transform or project our ideas, plans, stories, theories through the pencil, through the graphite stone, the writing stone, very interesting we can project it on a, on a paper. So I was digging deeper into it and you see that my I draw something new, but it's still the same thing. It's the paper 
It's the pencil. It's just a little, I draw it just a little bit smaller. It's the hand. It's the pencil, and it's the surface. So I was reading something from a physicist. His name is, uh, and that's very interesting. His name is I got it right here. And when when I was thinking, walking up and down, and I looked some of my pictures, I printed out because I think there is all related to each other or connection. I looked at the. You might not see it from there, but. A, a, a famous uh, physicist scientist his name is Minkowski and Min Minkowski was thinking about made his theory about time and space and how it works and how we can uh, visualize that so he, he in his theory let me just read it Minkowski visualized space and time as a light cone defining a boundary between past and the future accessible locations so when I saw what he was drawing, it, it looks kind of like this. So that's his theory about time and space, future uh, and past and future. So I looked at it and I, and, I, and, I, and I said to myself, wait a minute. That kind of a stuff I just drew yesterday, if you remember, if you've seen previous videos. So I, was, I see something in there that I see similarities when we write something on a piece of paper. So I looked at it and I figured very fast out that he calls, I call it a paper, and he, and he says in his theory that this field right here that looks like a surface, he call it the hyperspace of the present. So that tells me when you write on a paper that this, the paper we're writing on or any surface is the present. See that? I marked it blue. That's the, the surface of the present. It's that paper. And the future light cone, which you see is a cone, I saw it by this rotation, it creates a cone kind of like uh, a form too when we write, right? You see it, it's the red, the red cone, the red cone, and the, the end of the pencil is also a cone. So the red ones are the cones, and the future is up here, future, and the past is down here. What I'm, what, it's really incredible, and the, and, and the observer, is here the the end of the pencil on the cone so that's what he on his on his graphical visualization he says that time and that this is the space the surface here is the is the space this is the time and these are the cones of the past light cone and the and the, and the future light cone on the top and the past is at the bottom of the surface, and the observer is that the peak of the cone. You see that? So when I'm writing, and this is my theory, so I saw something in it that I'm capable of transform to translate it on my theories. That is, when I'm writing, this is the this is the pencil. I do this rotation when I'm writing something on the paper, and the paper is the surface of the present. It makes so much sense if you really think about it deeply. So, the paper, the surface, is the hypersurface of the present. Now, when I put my future idea, my observation through my magnetic electric field through the pencil, through those rotations of kind of, of a cone, I project it on the surface of the present, which is the paper, through letters and numbers. So by doing that, I created instantly, as soon as the letters and the, and the numbers are on the, on, the, on the present, the time went through this paper and it created the past. The past is here, that's the present, and I'm here with the future. I'm right, I'm, I'm the future and I project on the present, which is the paper, it's between the future and the past. So future, present, 
pass. So it's like this, right? So that's very interesting, and uh, I was astonished when I and see those things is it's not I don't think complicated. It's just like I I saw that Minkowski visualized space and time as a light cone defining a, a boundary between past and future. And by looking at it, I totally understood the whole essence of it, and I could translate it what I what my theory is that what we projecting with our energy, light energy through magnetic field. On a piece of paper so that means what we have in our mind what comes in our mind is the future and we're going to write it down on the present and the present is the sheet of paper and while you're writing on it from the future to the present past it, there goes a time dilation through it i hope you get that so it's very interesting so the paper is the surface of the present. Any surface is the, is the present. So through electromagnetic fields for the rotation that's like in a cone form, and at the tip of it, which is the pencil also, it's interesting, it's the observer. And he writes down what he sees on that surface, on the present. And then it goes down to the past, So when somebody takes the paper in the future, or another person read it on the paper, he perceives the past in the present. It's it's astonishing. It's really really interesting. So I hope you guys understand. I will go. I may. I will go. I'm gonna make it more clearly and more a summary, so it's easier to understand is let me make a summary that through our ideas what we have what we perceive from the future from the universal the ideas the plans the concept what we have in our mind and we transcend that thoughts that energy that light positive or negative by rotation of our pencil hexal spiral form uh, coil form the electric magnetic field onto the piece of paper and the piece of paper is the present and there's a time going from your mind to the paper is the present and it goes and as soon you write down the words it's gone it's the past right and then the interesting thing is it just popped up in my head if i translate that now on our planetary system solar system that means that the earth the sun and the moon, but that's, I don't know if it's true or not, but I, it just popped up in my head when I look at it, that the sun and the earth and the moon must be the future, present, and the past somehow. I will figure it out in, in my future videos. But that's now the important thing, that the, 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 the surface, the paper we, we, we write on, is the present, right? It's holding the moment when you write, when you project the, your future thoughts, your ideas, your plans on the paper. It holds it. It's the present, and then the energy becomes in the past. But the present at that moment is catched up on the paper by letters and words. So then the paper lays around somewhere on the shelf or whatever, and somebody else two weeks later or five weeks, whatever, grabs the paper. And a human being is always in the present, right? And then he reads it. So he reads something from the past in the present. Because he's in the present. So he reads something what have, was written in the past. An idea, a concept, uh, a story or whatever. Now, there is a chemical reaction taking place between the past and the present. It's very interesting. And this is all my own visual imaginary visualization what i'm doing here it's not like i'm reading a thick book or uh about uh i just see things you know like it's uh, it's for me it's easy thank you for watching